In this segment, Devin Weston, publisher West for Arcadia Publishing, talks a little bit about the company specifically, its history, its overview, and its future. Devin, I think, you know, by now most people at some point in their lives have seen one or a number of Arcadia books somewhere in the world. I mean, they're, they're, it's really become a ubiquitous product, it seems, in, in libraries and gift shops and bookstores and everything. How long has Arcadia been doing uh, what you do? We have been in business since 1993. We actually started um, uh, in, up on the northeastern seaboard, and um, we have been doing the same, pretty much the same format um, ever since then. Uh, we actually uh, moved our headquarters down to Charleston, South Carolina, not too long after that. So, and so, how big a company is Arcadia? I mean, if if you can, we are. Let's see. I can't. Uh, I can't think of the exact number of employees, but we actually have um, uh, four four regional offices. We have a our headquarters, as I said, is in South Carolina, it's in mm-hmm. Charleston. Uh, we have a, a, a publishing office in uh, New Hampshire one in Chicago, and then, of course, the one that I work out of in, in San Francisco here. And then we actually have, even more more than that, um, remote editors who work from their homes mm-hmm. and um, just people um, all around the country who are working with our authors. So. And I know you publish a lot. Is there any sort of rolling title count right now since, since there, the company started? We are <laughs> somewhere between... 6,500 and 7,000. Which is really, I mean, for, for a lot of people, it's unfathomable. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, it, it just goes to show you that for every every town, you know, there really is a community pride and there really is an interest in seeing it preserved. So, And I'm guessing, you know, a lot of those titles, those are first-time authors. And again, I think that gets back to the fact that the opportunity for a first-time author, when you're looking at numbers, you know, over 6,500 titles, Clearly, there's opportunity there for somebody to go in and represent their community. Absolutely, as long as the passion is there and the pride, and you know, the, and the photos, it, um, mm. we're we're very interested in it. So. Typically, Devin, you know, if somebody, let's say somebody approaches you today with an idea that uh, that you pitch in a few days and it's well received, what, what's the timing like typically as far as the initial idea to having a book actually appearing in a bookstore? Well, generally speaking, I would say. Um, You know, we do, first and foremost, really want to work with our authors along their timelines. Um, The average is from the time an author actually proposes a book, um, on average, they uh, are able to finish them in six months. Um, But like I said, you know, we really like to work with our authors and make sure that they, you know, have have, uh, sort of accounted for everything that they need to in their own schedule. Um, and then after that, we work on a six-month um, average timeline for releasing the book. So from the day that that author submits their very final book materials to us, all the images and all the text, um, on average, their book will come out about six months after that. Now, of course, within this, you know, approximately six months and six months on top of that timeline, um, we also work with our authors to make sure that we're aware of very important release dates. So sometimes we'll take a release date and try to work backwards from that. So, you know, on average, I would say it's about a year from proposal to release. Um, and we really, we just sort of make that as organic as possible when, um, when we're working with, with our individual authors. So. All right, so Devin, someone's gone through the process. They've pitched their book. The book is received. Um, the idea is, uh, is is loved, and the book comes out. The author puts the book together over the course of a year. Or so, what happens at that point? What what can a first time or, or again any time author expect when their book is available? They receive their copies. It has a release date. It comes out. Well, from that point, what does Arcadia become involved with in terms of promotion? Well, we um, we actually start working with our authors um, even a little bit before the book comes out to draw from their experience, draw from their local um, knowledge. Um, so our marketing department um, gets in touch with our authors and provides them with sort of a template that says, you know, what are the what are the top places where you think you're going to have a book signing? Um, where are places where we should call? Um, you know, who might sell the book. Um, so we request all this information from our authors because, again, they're, they are our experts. They are our eyes and ears. Um, so once we receive that back from our authors, that is our marketing departments and our sales departments um, sort of foundation for moving um, their end of the process forward. When that book actually comes out, 
we'll have actually already started to help our authors set up their book signings. Um, and what that involves is um, we'll have, you know, established a date and we'll make sure we have posters ready and it'll say, you know, book signing at, at you know, Nellie's books on the 15th and, um, and that kind of thing. Make sure Nellie's has those, make mm-hmm. sure the author has what they need to promote them. We'll send them flyers and that kind of thing. Um, beyond that, we actually send out media kits to all of the local media contacts um, who either we know or our authors know. Um, and that can be, you know, that's a, not necessarily um, the traditional, just the big newspapers or anything. We will send out media kits to, you know, if there's somebody who has a, a local newsletter or neighborhood um, flyer or something of that nature. Um, if our author knows them, if we can get in touch with them, we'll send them a media kit, including a little book and um, and all of that. Um, and I was going to say, you do a lot of work as, as far as educating the author on what to do and what to expect and how to behave. I think that's sort of good, too, because, again, for, for especially for a first-time author, it's a, it's a brave new world out there. Definitely. And, and there are protocols, and, and you're, you, you, know, you have um, you know, printed materials that you supply the author with to sort of keep them up to speed on everything. Exactly, yeah. We, uh, you know, that's, we know all of our departments are very aware that many of our authors have never worked on, um, on a book before, and whether that's creating one or promoting one, um, you know, we really try to uh, to guide them along the way to give them expectations of what might happen um, and just to work with them uh, with, you know, the ultimate events that they, that they do arrange. Um, so it's, uh, we do try to be very, you know, cognizant of that. And um, I think the, the marketing plans in our marketing department is, is very, very, um, you know, keen on, on uh, making sure everybody has what they need when that when they're finally sitting there with their book, um, you know, in front of them. So. And from an author's standpoint, book comes out. You've you've got them well armed about how to go out and do signings. Let's say the book does great. At what point then can an author expect? I mean, obviously, if you run through the initial print, then it's reprinted, right? If there's a demand for it. Exactly. Our uh, we actually start with um, a print run of twelve hundred for most books. Um, now. Starting print run doesn't actually affect um, the total print run. What we specialize in, as I was saying, was um, you know making sure that uh, our, our sales and marketing uh, models are really locally focused. Um, we watch the demand, we watch the rate of sale, and if that 1,200 copies is going and it's going fast, and we're down to the last you know few hundred, um, we actually order um, a reprint right then so that we can keep up with that demand and. They can be uh, reprinted in smaller quantities, um, you know, with improving printing technology, too, which is something we've really tried to utilize. Um, we don't necessarily have to wait until we think we could sell another 1,200. Mm-hmm. We can order and print run for fewer. And by doing that, we've actually been able to keep our, our local history books, you know, in print much longer than, um, you know, a, a vanity press that does one print run and then you're kind of out of luck, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so that we can actually just print and keep up for many, many years to come. Devin, thanks for taking us through this process. I know that uh, you know if people do have other questions, that uh, Arcadia Publishing is very proactive and, and, and reactive in terms of getting back to people. But you've done, I think, a really good job here of uh, of laying out what a what a first time author can expect and b what the process is and c you know what happens when the book comes out and how those things get handled as well. 